Hey everybody, um, here's a little tutorial uh, tidbit on Blender and uh, anyway I'm going to show you today how to create a what they call a sprite sheet which is let's say you were making for example like a two-dimensional game or an animation for like an animated gif or something uh, let's say here's this little apple character I have here and you can see here's a little animation of him pointing okay in this case, this is kind of a lot of frames, 120 frames, but let's say I wanted to turn this into a sprite sheet, which was, you know, be a series of, of images kind of laid out next to each other for use in, for example, like, you know, most commonly used in a game engine, or maybe you wouldn't want to use it in, like, Flash or something like that, or as an animated GIF or something. So uh, let's go ahead and see how to do that. First, we've got our scene here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this animation and turn it into a series of frames by rendering them out. So let's just go in under our render tab here. And then you see here, here's the number of frames I want to render, starting at frame 1, ending at frame 120. And obviously that's, you know, too many frames for something like a sprite sheet. So but when we set the frame step, we could set this, for example, to 20 frames. So it's only going to take every 20th frame. It's going to render that image, and it's going to render that image, and then that image and that image and so on okay originally when I did this I did every every 10 frames or so so uh, after it renders that then you'll get uh, if you go into your wherever you ended up rendering stuff to you can see here in my renders folder I already rendered the uh, little apple out there he is okay so I rendered a series of images out and you can see that they're you know renders a series of frames and stuff Okay, so now I'm going to convert all of these images into a sprite sheet. And uh, let's go ahead. To do that, we're going to need to use an external program from Blender, which is a um, free open source, openly available uh, Photoshop type program called GIMP. Okay. Wait for GIMP to load here. Okay, so there's GIMP. Let's close it up a little bit. Okay, and uh, before we can get this to work, we need to add a plugin. And this is the plugin that I'm using. So here we go. Here's the plugin. It's called Sprite Sheet Animation Titles. Okay, so you can go ahead and download the, uh, the plugin right here. And uh, you can go ahead and follow the instructions in order to uh, install the plugin. If you saw my, if you're on the Mac, watch the tutorial I did earlier about how to open up the contents of an application. And you can just kind of copy the. Uh, this .scm file into there. Follow the instructions. Once you've installed the plugin into GIMP, then it's very simple. Um, you just go uh, and open up the series of images. You go to File, Open as Layers, not just Open, Open as Layers, and you find the you find the images that you want, and you just shift select everything that you want to add. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then you very carefully. Oh, I hope I can get to this. This window is taking up a lot of space here. There we go. Open. Unfortunately, um, I haven't found a way around this yet. Uh, profile. Okay. Unfortunately, you have to assign the color scheme every time you do this. I'll have to find a, out if there's a way to do this without having to click on this annoying box every single time. Okay. So now we have a series of images. Uh, each one saved as its own little layer there. And then we go under filters, and if you've installed the plugin correctly, you should see Sprite Sheet at the bottom here. And you select Sprite Sheet. Oh, there we go. Create from layers. And there we go. So it very simply just puts all your little uh, images one after another. And uh, then you can go ahead and just save this as a PNG or whatever you want to save it as. So that's the basics of how to create a, um, a sprite sheet uh, using Blender and GIMP. So once again, we uh, had our little animation, and I just set the frame step to whatever you want to be a reasonable rate, a number of frames, and uh, just you know uh, rendered out all my stuff. I installed the plugin into GIMP. I uh, went into File, Open as Layers. I selected everything that I wanted to import and then I just simply ran the uh, the filter okay create from layers and then you can just save it out to whatever you want and then you can 
easily use that. Uh, and then later on, I'll show you, uh, you know, how to actually animate this, for example, in, in Unity. Uh, but if you're using something like Blitz Basic or Dark Basic, um, you can pretty much just start uh, using this right now. Uh, if you were creating a game in HTML5, for example, you'd be able to easily access these frames. And uh, anyway, I hope that helps out.